Hello everybody, it's Dare here and welcome to Moose Man. On the wings of soaring bird, let me take you to the land of myth. Let my words be seeds that grow through your heart. In a gloomy forest, dark seven drawn up once more. It's a little bit difficult to read. Three whole worlds are waiting for the chosen, who will find Shondi deep below the ground. Listen to the words of ancient song and learn the knowledge of ages. The palm are cold and full of shadows, mighty spirit chosen Yes, welcome to Moose Man, a new 2D uh, side-scrolling puzzler where uh, we are in the middle of the Finno-Ugric, I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but the Finno-Ugric culture. So I have just played like I think 15 minutes of this game and apparently I didn't record it so I'm playing it once more. Let's see what we can do without this was a game that I found uh, on Steam, and it very I was very much enticed by this aesthetics. It's, it kind of looks a little bit like Limbo, but very mysterious as well. Actually, we found see I only found some what is called artifacts. These are, these are interesting uh, because they're actually depictions of real life artifacts uh, from this Finno Ugric culture, which uh, was a shamanistic tribes. Uh, tribe culture from I think Finland down to Hungary and a little bit of Russia as well. <clears throat> Winged moose man traverses all three layers of creation. He is accompanied by the spirit, spirits, and a reptile is below his feet. Artifact of seventh. Earth. See, it's, it's actually artifacts that is found. Uh, archaeological artifacts. Oh, we're going to get to that. Ah, uh, and this is. The big selling point of this game, except, well, uh, other than the than the very stylish and amazing uh, uh, art style, uh, and as well of the very mysterious and atmospheric sound. But we are a shaman. We are a moose man who is on his way to well, I guess Shondi, uh, someone in the death realm, realm of the dead, but we traverse these uh, realms. There are three realms, all in all, and we can traverse them. I think we can only traverse two at the moment. So you see, we get this weird moose hat, I think it is, once we get, go into the spirit world, I think. But then we have the myths. So we got the intro on Wings of Birds. And... Uh, then we have the Shiryu River. I'm probably butchering, butchering all of these uh, words and names, and I'm very, very sorry for that, but please bear with me. The middle world is separated from the lower one by the great river Shiryu. It circles the world, concealing the world to the dead, world of the dead from the world of the living. Vakul lives in the waters of Shiryu. He devours each and every one who dares to trespass his dominion. Only the ones who know, called Todis, have the knowledge to find a bridge leading from one world to the other. There are other rivers that flow between the worlds. So this world here is actually a, a, a river directly to the other world, the spirit world, which we as a moose man can trespass. Well, actually, I want to know what happens. Okay, is it, I thought there would be a monster coming up, but if we go into the spirit world, we actually get a bridge. Oh! I really, really love uh, this whole atmosphere and, uh, that created by the, by the art style. Very simplistic art style, uh, but also with, with the sound, as you just mentioned. We get another myth, Osh. A bear named Osh lies silently. He guards the underworld. Only the dead can walk th freely in the kingdom of death. And that is why no spirit from the world of the living and no man can pass, pass Osh. Man, I can't talk right now. And that is why the hunter that has killed the bear 
should give him great honor. So we walk forward, we see a giant bear, which is us, who will kill us if we're not careful. It's a, it, the whole premise of the game is actually really, really simple. Like, uh, it's very much like Limbo and Inside, where you, there's not a lot of game mechanics, but like this one, I simply have to stop walking and I will hide behind this whatever layer that, that is and wait for the bear to go to sleep. And I think we can manage to go past it right now. Yes, we can. By the way, if we go into the spirit world, there is also a spirit bear, of course. And creation of men. Yen filled the middle world with spirits, animals, and men. He planted seeds of tallest pine and fear trees, and with fish he, created, he filled the rivers. The good and useful spirits were sent to the middle world, and the evil ones he sent to the lower world. And Ush was set to guard the border. And then Ush notices us. No! Don't do it, Ush! And now we have to walk between the worlds in order to get away from that great bear. So, like, I can't move forward here, but if I go into the spirit world, it disappears. Then I can move forward in these white pillars here. So we have to sort of jump between the worlds. And... Come down! Rawr, 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 yes. Osh is very mad at me for not doing whatever, that, whatever he wanted me to. And this is when we found, I found the bear artifact. Bear is a guardian of the lower world, artifact of the 6th century. See, it, it's so awesome that it's actually a real artifact, a depiction of a real artifact. A bear along with the moose were sacred animals for the creators of these artifacts. A bear depiction is rarely included in multiple people's compositions. Nice. There are a lot of reading in this game and it's very much... Uh, slow pace as you have probably found out figured out by now but i want to read it all because i think it's really really fascinating uh, learning about different uh, other cultures bear feast a hunter has to do a lot of things if he wants to hunt osh osh is mortal and only temporarily does he give his meat to the hunter it is forbidden to speak during the hunt because osh will hunt the hunter down hunt the hunter down if he knows his voice the great feast should be held after Osh was caught. The head of Osh should be the sacrifice to his father, En, and a multitude of songs should be said to conceal those that brought sleep upon the beast. Wait, what is this? Oh, am I actually trapped in this rock now? Oh, may I go back to the spirit world then. Oh, oh my god, that one is following me. Why is that one following? Oh, oh we, should, we want it to follow us. Okay. Ah, so we can go up here. Oh, well, that's clever. It's weird, but clever. Oh, oh. So. Oh, maybe. Maybe if. I, well, since I can't jump. I guess we wanted to go all the way over here. Whatever that be a snail spirit rock thing is. Okay, we can go up. So. Just like this. So I was I was talking about my knowledge of shamanism. <laughs> uh, oh. Just before I realized that I wasn't recording uh, my game play. Uh, and I talk about how shamanism, the only uh, the only uh, idea I have of shamanism comes from pretty much from Brother Bear, which is shamanism all the way in northern Canada and Alaska. Um, but this very much reminds me of that still with the whole mysterious atmosphere that's going on. And I like it a lot. Shut All the spirits bear the name Chud. 
and they were created by Yen himself on the dawn of creation, but some Chut were born after, the dead that didn't pass uh, the last road. Some of them are useful and help us, some are evil and can bring misfortune. Many things have their own spirits, and when you know the ways of the spirit, you can control them. Mm -hmm. Ah. You can control anything! Oh. So, so this spirit, this is actually a tree of the spirit. I wonder, do we die if we, yeah, okay, we fall through the spirit, it's just like the rock spirit, whatever. Why would I even try that? I mean, why? <laughs> it's just stupid. But it's so calm, it's almost uh, like mm, like a meditative game. You use it for meditation because it is so calm and wonderful. Oh, hey, hello. There was another artifact here. The pendant base. Base of the horse-shaped tinkling pendant. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh. I actually had to use the spirit world to... Ooh. What was that, dude? The last road. Our soul, that we call Ort, walks along the last road when we die. She travels through all the three worlds and finally reaches the Iron Mountain of the Ancients. All spirits know that the last road know about the last road and help Ord. Okay. So can you help me? Oh that that looks Oh no. Okay. So we should go that way I guess. Thank you, Spirit. Um, oh I didn't notice there was actually a uh there's actually a bridge here. Oh, this is creepy. <laughs> uh oh, is he bad? I think he's bad. No, why is why was his eyes glowing red? So there's actually people spirits. Oh my god, Sirio Swamp. Ord walks the Sirio River that flows through the underworld. The sinful souls get bogged in the river, and they are rot they rot here there forever. Thousands of foul souls became the disgusting liquid, and so the river became a swarm, black and thick like tar. And when your time comes, you should go boldly. There's no way back. Oh, okay. So, so it is grabbing me once uh, the spirit, once the eyes are red, they are grabbing me. But I guess the human world is the middle world. And the lower world is then the spirit one. Let me walk here. There's really no reason to let... Oh, wait, that one grabbed me. Why did it grab me? Oh, there was also... Minx. Minx were among the first spirits that Yin created. He didn't give them consciousness, but gave them life immortal. They stand silent in the special places. The Manx of the woods rise above the highest trees. The Manx of the swamps stare into the fog for eternity. And the Manx of the lakes drink water so that it, it will fall as rain. I love how how these... Uh... So wait, they're, they're following me. They're coming for me? No, what? What? I don't know. Okay, we just have to traverse when they are red in the eyes. Okay, so... Ooh, this is so close. So I, I love the uh, whole mythology part. Uh, I always love love mythology, but I think it's so interesting. Yes, we should go to the right. I think I noticed that. Oh, so this this liquid here is uh, is all of the sinful spirits. But I really love mythology and whole uh, how everything was created, how they explain everything and the creation of it. Uh, 
I do believe golden age. There was another one here. The ground was rich and the barley ears grew full from the ground to the top. The sky was close to the ground and the birds that flew through the starry path one could catch with his bare hands. The men reaped barley with an awl. Once one of the men found a sickle. The sickle fell from his hands while falling and while falling the sickle cut the head of a man. His body stumped through the ground and became the gates of insects and evil spirits of the lower world. The then sky soared high and became unreachable. His body still lies on the border of worlds. What was that? Just some man. Okay. Okay. Well, there was a artifact here. Oval plaque. Oval plaque showing human faces surrounded by two reptiles. Some artifacts were found at the burial site. Some in town uh, remains at the sacrificial places. The rest of the findings is among the treasure stashes and found not at historical site. This item is attributed to the Siberian animal style. So Siberia, that's actually quite far away from Finland. Okay, we want this rock to follow us most likely. I think. Um, but that's not good. What's happening? I don't think they can go up here, can they? Ooh. Stand on top of the rock. They will go up. Um, no, I don't know what happened there. Oh, right. We can we can uh, we can go inside the rock and sort of wait. So here. Yes, so smart. I like. It's also it's the same principle as inside, where it's tr mo mostly trial and error. But so far, I know I've only been playing for like twenty minutes, but so far, it hasn't been unfair in any way, and that's that's nice. Like uh, once once you. Uh, Try something and you fail, it just starts you right back at the next puzzle, really. So. Oh, it happened long before the mighty chiefs were born, even before Kama River appeared among the pine trees. In the endless ocean, the duck swam. swam. It's very authentic also with the with someone actually speaking the language. From the egg of this first duck, our father Yen was born. First moose and father of all spirit and creator of all men, the eggshell gave birth to both the middle and upper world. The lower world took the roots in the murky ocean depths. So one, well, what, which one is the, the upper world? Which one is the lower world? Which one is the middle world? We don't know. But I think that was all the time we had for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. This game, I I am actually really, really intrigued by this game. It's it's very, very interesting and fascinating. And I hope you think so too. If you like this video, please remember to like it on YouTube and maybe even subscribe to me. And I'll see you in the next one. Over and out.